Ben, and hey guys, it's me again, and today we're going to have a look at the new Google products which were just released 2-3 hours ago. So, here we are on the webpage, googleblog.blogspot.de, because I'm in Germany, but you know, if you type in the comments, it's going to be the same website, it's going to be linked in, in the description. So, Android L is officially Android 5.0 Lollipop. Yes, Lollipop. Not lemon meringue pie or something, it's lollipop, you see? It's quite nice. No, there are many different kinds of lollipops, so I think it's a really good knife. Um, it's a really good name for it. But now the thing I've been waiting for, the Nexus 9, 6, and something something nobody really thought of. Nexus... <coughs> Nexus Play, I think. Um, I... Yeah, so, so here we see the Nexus 9, Nexus 6, and the Nexus, uh, what's it? Nexus Player, see? So, first, the Nexus 6 developed Motorola, uh, the, ne the, Mo the Motorola developed Nexus 6, and we're gonna go there now, page is loading, alright, this is in, I gotta, um, um, let me have a look. Because I need to, because it's all in German. Um, I'm just gonna translate it. So, um, show more can do more. Of course, it, it ships with Android 5 Lollipop, so Android L. It has the Moto X 2014 edition design. See with the Motorola icon and the camera there, which is really nice, and also the round flash, like next to the camera. You'll see on the bottom is like a microphone or something. And there you see a few colors it comes in, so it looks like black and white. And with the metal frame as well. And the front also looks quite nice. It looks like uh, no physical home button. So, two front speakers. Oh yeah, that's what, that's what that is. That's a front speaker. Two of them. Just like in the HTC one, uh, 108, for example. But there, the speakers are a little smaller. Um... And it comes with a 6-inch Quad HD display, which is huge. So, I mean, if you think of the Note 4, it's that big, I think. Well, no, a bit smaller than, than the Note 4, but, you know. So, we have a 13-megapixel rear shooter and a 8-megapixel, and a, um, I think. Um, yeah, I gotta check on that. But now, so we have the uh, specs. Yeah, we have a 2 megapixel front-facing camera, which isn't so good for selfies, I need to admit. You know, it sucks. But the 13 megapixel with optical image stabilization is... Whew! It's amazing. I mean, it's better than most other things with optical image stabilization. So yeah, we have the 6-inch Quad HD display with uh, nearly 500 ppi, so 492 ppi. A huge battery with three thousand two two hundred and twenty milliamp hours. That's as big as as the Note Four, I believe. And it comes with a Snapdragon eight hundred five clocked in at two point seven gigahertz. Wow! And the Adreno four twenty four twenty and thirty two or sixty four gigabytes of internal storage. No micro SD card. <sighs> 2.7 gigahertz. Wow, that's that's pretty pretty dope. I gotta say, and there's no release date for it yet, so we're gonna wait for that. And now we're gonna have a look in the Nexus 9 at the Nexus 9. It's in German as well, and it also comes shipped with Android 5 Lollipop, and it looks like it comes in black, white, and gold. It has a, a camera with a with a flash, and the camera seems to be thicker than the. Uh, Nexus device itself, so that's just like in the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, and no, it looks looks pretty pretty good. Oh, it's like the the Nexus there, like on the Nvidia Shield tablet. So here we can have a look at the different colors. If this should work, are you gonna work? Nope, nope, it's not gonna work. But you saw them up on top, so you can just go back and soft. It's like soft touch back, on, like also on the Nexus. A Nexus um, 7, like on all other Nexus, uh, Nexuses, I believe, and also like on the Nvidia Shield tablet. 
and it's a yeah it's it has htc boom sound front speakers which makes sense because it's developed by htc and made by htc oh and it comes with a 64 bit processor and a 9 uh, 8.9 inch um screen which is about the same size as the, the nvidia shoe tablet wow boom sound <sighs> hopefully though they're probably uh, the speakers are probably better what the hell uh speakers are probably better than in the nvidia shield though and it just froze on me ah oh, there it is again and oh yes so um this is like, this is like with the ipad with the with the ipads you can get like speakers for it and stuff uh no i mean um keyboards for it and there yeah, that, that looks pretty pretty good yeah and it connects by bluetooth and yeah, and then you can type. In. Yeah, well, it's just like on a on its computer. It's like with the Windows um, tablet. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, so it's made for work and f free time. It comes with Android L, so Android lo Lollipop. Oh, and it looks like m multitasking. And so it's an 8.9 inch IPS LCD LCD display. A 6,700 milliamp hour battery, 8 megapixel rear shooter, and a 1.6 megapixel uh, front shooter. An NVIDIA Tegra K1 processor with 2.3 gigahertz, and that's 64 bit, so that's the same processor as in the NVIDIA Shield tablet. And a, Kep and a Kepler GPU, and comes with 16 all 32 gig gigabytes of storage. Just like the NVIDIA Shield tablet, but the NVIDIA Shield tablet, of course, has micro SD card expansion. But the cameras are alright, I gotta say. The, um, of course, the processor and the, those specs are a beast. I don't really want to see the benchmarks on that video. So, you can look at the NVIDIA Shield tablet benchmarks if you go to my channel. And, of course, subscribe. And, you know, the, the IPS is pretty good and the battery is also alright. Yeah, so now um, there's also no date for that as well now in Germany. There's probably one for America, but I don't know. Um, now I want to see the. Um, the uh, Nexus player. So we're just going to Google it right now. Nexus player. Right there we go. Oh wow! Well, no, because this this is not for Germany yet, so it looks like they have this only in English. So there we see the next player. It looks just like a uh, Chromecast or Apple TV or Amazon Fire TV or the Roku. I think it's called in America, and it's but it's from Nexus, so it comes with Android TV, uh, which we saw at Google I/O. And you see there, there's the console. Then there's a remote, which just lo which looks exactly like the, well, not exactly, but like the um, Amazon Fire TV remote with the speaker, with the like voice control, and you, and you seem to have a, a, a play pause, a back uh, like a cho choosing thing, and then the round, the circle there looks like maybe like recent apps because it comes with Google Play. And then the controller also looks pretty good. Uh, it's made by Asus, as it says on the controller. And so that's like the PlayStation controller. Yeah, and yeah, it comes with Google Play. So your apps, uh, movies, music. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, you can cast from your iOS, Android device, Mac or Windows laptop or Chromebook. So that's that's better than the Chromecast. Um, you can start, yeah, you can start watching movies on your TV and then finish it on your tablet, for example, which is also quite nice. And it comes with uh, Netflix, uh, um, TED Talks, YouTube. Oh, nice! Get the, of course, the Google Play stuff, except for um, newsstand, Red Bull TV for amazing stunts. <laughs> Um, iHeartRadio, Vivo, Hulu, Hulu Plus, 
that that looks pretty good and they pro they're gonna add even more over time and here we see the control if if we go back down again wow nice it looks like we have the the on off button the back button and the recent apps button and oh it's free online multiplayer so it's better than xbox for example and here you can see the specs 1.8 gigahertz quad core intel atom and HDMI out, uh, the 8.802.1.11 AC, uh, Wi Fi, and it come, and you need to have TV with HDMI, HDMI in, input and cable, so it doesn't come with the HDMI cable, and of course it's Wi Fi only. Well, not of course, but you know. And in the box, there's ne there's the player, the remote, power, batteries for the remote. And a quick start guide and some booklets. So that looks pretty dope, and that's available for pre order starting October 17th. You can get it on Google Play. Let me see if this, yeah, this is gonna be in German again. So uh, the next, the Nicholas 5 is still available, which is pretty, pretty nice. And then, and the Nexus 4 is up, so from Nexus 4 and up, it's gonna have the Android L update. But I think that this is going to be it for today. So thank you guys for watching this short video. And on Saturday there will be another video which will show you how to how to do some root features for the Nvidia Shield tablet and also for any other Android device. And yeah, so please uh, sub subscribe, comment and like. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye.